have a little day trip planned today. I was originally going to go on my kayak, but it's like 32 degrees and I was like, that's kind of miserable on a kayak. So I'm gonna drive an hour and a half to Lake Huron and try to catch a salmon from the surf. So that's the goal. Made it to the spot here, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's like no wind at all. It's completely glass out there, which I've like never seen a great lake, completely glass calm like this. So it's a very nice day. Got some little Cleos, little spoons. That's what I'm gonna be throwing out here for these salmon. People are catching Atlantic salmon, so that's what I'm kind of aiming for. But really anything that's not a large mouth or small mouth or pike, I'll take. That's kind of what the goal is. But I just can't get over how beautiful it is. The Great Lakes are just something else. They're just so beautiful. Nothing like anything else that I've ever like witnessed. So it's pretty amazing to be able to have the opportunity to live in Michigan and get to do this stuff. So let's get at it. Let's catch a salmon. I literally have all day and it's 8 a.m. So I'm gonna cast here all day until I catch one. Yeah, I musky fish, so I'm like very used to just standing in the same spot and casting for hours, so this is nothing. I lost my mind there. Thought I had a bite. Just got stuck on something, though. That's enough to get the heart bumping, though. There's fish. Yes, sir. I actually got one. Yes, sir. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm freaking out. No way, dude. Please be a salmon. That'd be so sick. But I did not think I was gonna hook up today. Hopefully, me turning on this camera does not make me lose this fish. Okay, we're good. What is it, dude? That's pretty good, whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Got my PC Fun Carbon X, two, 4,000. This thing puts the hammer down on some salmon, some big old gear. Dude, let's go. Oh, did I snag it, dude? He's joking. Okay, well, you know, I thought he bit it, but I didn't even see him. That's fish, though. Come here. He's joking. Must have went right over him. Anyways, we're gonna get him back. Hopefully I can catch one that's, you know, not like this. That's still cool, though. Regardless, come here. There we go. Well, that is an absolutely beautiful fish right there. Nice Atlantic salmon. First ever time seeing an Atlantic salmon. That is such a cool fish right there. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I actually have no idea. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but that is such a gorgeous looking fish right there, guys. Absolutely love to see it. We're gonna keep on cranking. Hopefully we can catch one that actually bites it, but we're gonna let this guy go. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. All right, see you later, bud. That's super cool. Got to see one. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen next time, but you know, what can you do? All right, I switched up to the smallest spinner that I have, so hopefully this is more presentable to those fish and maybe they want to bite it. Someone over there was telling me to use smaller baits because that's what they're hitting at right now, which preferably like flies and stuff, but I, I don't know how to do all that. I need to go to a bait shop or something. I need something different. They're not really too fond of the spinner action here. Oh, there's two more coming in, so maybe they want it. Maybe they want something to do with something. No, they don't want nothing to do with nothing either. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of recouping right now. I'm gonna go try to find a bait shop, get some smaller hooks and like beads or spawn sacks or something to see if that'll work. Cause they clearly do not want anything to do with the spinners or any sort of like hardware, I guess. So, so literally the only place I can go right now is Walmart. There's literally nothing else around here. Well, I just got the essentials, like a bunch of uh, hair jigs, little crappie jigs, and some hooks. But now I have live bait. They have no spawn sacks. Do I get worms? Do they bite worms? I, I guess they would bite worms, right? I don't know. Bobber worm always works, right? Per usual, spent more money than I probably should have today, but that's A-OK. -okay. Now I have a lot more of a presentation to throw out these salmon. Got like three different things to try. Oh, there's a rod in my face. So hopefully one of these baits can actually get a salmon to commit and bite. I got a hair jig, crappie jig, worms, and some little fake eggs. So there's four different presentations I can throw at these guys. I'm probably still not gonna get one to bite. 
Now once I got back to the spot, I tried and tried everything that I bought and I even walked around this entire harbor only to still catch absolutely nothing. But yeah, I mean, I saw schools and schools of salmon, but none of them wanted anything to do with anything. So I'm taking a little midday break, set up on the beach here, got my grill, making some brats. We're gonna refuel with some food, get back at it, and hopefully finally get one of these fish to bite. It, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle for everyone out here. So, I don't know. I'm optimistic. This is just such a great view. Getting some food on the beach. Don't get much better than this. I mean, not really guys, it doesn't get much better than this. Eating some nice wieners on the shoreline of the Great Lakes. All right, just got fueled up with that lunch. That was uh, just quite amazing, just sitting out there eating some lunch. But we have like four or five hours left of daylight still. So I'm getting one of these fish to bite. I got nothing else going on today, so I'm gonna stay here as long as I can. And it's just like, the scenery is just unmatched. So like, why would I wanna leave? I don't. I could live on the shorelines of the Great Lakes and I'd have no problem with that. Although I decided to treacherously walk across all these rocks to get out to the point where this uh, marina leads into the lake because the fish are coming in, they're gonna be coming right through here, right? I don't know, that's my thought. I, I could be thinking wrong, but you know, I'm just thinking there might be some fish traveling in and out. Oh, I don't know how to fish. So that might get me a bite or it might do absolutely nothing. Dude, bite it, you're just right here. It's a tough day, that's for sure. But like I said, oops, I was snagged on a rock. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's very beautiful scenery. And it's super cool to see all these fish. I just wish they were biting today. I was talking to some guys and they showed me pictures of like on Thursday he caught like 10. So some days they bite, some days they don't. I just got to come back when they're biting. Or maybe as the sun starts to go down and we get to the evening prime time, I might get a bite then. I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just going to keep on, keep on trying. Check this out guys, I'm pretty sure these two fish are, um, um, looks like they're spawning. But there's two of them just like uh, doing a little tango dance with each other. Pretty sure they're spawning. That's my best guess as to what they're doing. Or they're just fighting, I don't I don't really know. But either way, I'm gonna leave these fish alone. They, they definitely wouldn't bite anyways. They, they're pretty uh, preoccupied here. I done, I gave up. None of those fish wanted to bite. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, really. My hair's getting really long, but if you did enjoy this one, <laughs> be sure to leave that thumbs up. And if you wanna see me come back out here again, fish for some more Atlantic salmon, coho, steelhead, pretty sure there's all those things in this in this little harbor here. And there's plenty of other harbors around on Lake Huron and Lake Michigan. So if you wanna see more of this style of video, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh -oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know. I want